Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about UDEV. Well, in Linux, actually, there are a lot of things which, if you don't know about, will not affect your career or your job or, or your learning even. These things, I mean, they're just there and they quietly do their work. And one of these things is UDEV. So, as I told you in my last video that uh, in Linux, most of the devices can be represented as a file which are present in slash dev directory, right? So if I do an ls hyphen lrt on slash dev, so you can see all these devices and they're present as text files, right? If you go into each of these, you'll find text files. Okay, but we didn't talk about how these files are getting created, right? For example, if you insert a pen drive in your running uh, running system so dynamically a file gets created in the dev directory for that particular pen drive right or uh, flash drive so how does that happen so basically this is being taken care of by a user space program called udev so in, nut in, in a nutshell, UDEV is basically a program which receives notification from kernel and we basically receive notification from kernel when a new device is uh, introduced to the system, right? So what UDEV does is basically it examines the device, uh, creates the device files and then initialize the device. Although this approach has some problem, uh, we'll see that in the later video what, what this problem is and how uh, basically Linux kernel tackles this problem. All right. Uh, so, so right now, if, let's cd into the dev directory, do ls hyphen lrt. All right. How these files are basically getting loaded is, uh, I mean, udev follow some things called uh, maybe I mean not something but basically follows a set of rules which are defined and on basis on of those rules it basically uh, decides what to do with that particular device okay so the uh, the kernel events which you dev receives from the kernels are called u events so and the rules which the you dev evaluates they are present in slash lib u dev directory so inside this there's a directory called rules.t directory and if you list it there are a bunch of rules for different types of devices so let's look at this storage so this persistent storage rule is basically the rule for your uh, hard disk which is attached right so let's do a vi or uh, a vim inside this and let's see what the oh so vi let's do vi so you can see these there are a bunch of things written there's a lot of things written probably uh, they won't make sense to you and like i said in linux there are a bunch of things there are things which will not make sense to you and it's completely fine if they're not making sense to you you didn't you need not worry you did not i mean if you're not able to understand this rules file it's completely fine it's not going to affect you in any sense so let's go down a little and look for something called ata devices yeah so you see uh, this rule and let's i mean let's begin from what it's doing so this initially is first doing some comparisons or basically what you call condition matching uh, you can call it so a double equal to represents a conditional in these rules and a single equal to basically represents a directive all right so a double equal to or a not equal to is representing a conditional so this rule is basically checking for any device with this format like either sd a character a number or sr a character right and then it's checking if the id serial is set or not set so this basically is checking if it is not set all right then it is checking if the subsystem is iSCSI vendor is ata and if all these are i mean of all these are things are set then it is 
doing basically a directory which is running this command against this output so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to exit out of this file and i'll show you what exactly is happening what exactly it's setting so inside just let's go a direct a directory up and inside this there is this command called ata id and ata id and we'll do hyphen hyphen export and on the device which is slash dev sda so this is my hard disk basically so you can see all these uh, basically variables uh, environment variables are being set if this command is being run right so id type bus type id model and all these id serial so you can see if it's not set it will set this id serial to this all right let's go back in the file cd rules and let's go back inside this file come down again and see what is happening once this is being uh, evaluated so let's go down so here for iSCSI devices so once this is being evaluated you can see if the environment type is disk environment serial id is set so what it's going to do is basically going to create a sim link in the sysfs the sysfs which we talked about in our last video so it's going to create the sim link so this is how basically you i mean when when i showed you so let's go to dev, dev uh, ls hyphen lrt and now let's go to disk and do an ls let me clear my screen first and do an ls hyphen lrt and you can see these were the sim links which were getting created by uuid by path or by id so let's just go to by uuid and see if the sim link is there so you can see the sim link is created for the disk right so this is these these this is how the rules are getting evaluated and the sim links are getting created all right moving on let's just go to my home uh, there's a user space program called udev adm or udev admin to basically interact with your devices get information about your devices and things like that so let's see what it does so if i run a udev adm command you can see it takes a lot of options uh, without which it will not run so let's just do udev adm hyphen hyphen help and gives you what all options it takes so info query csfs or the udev database so this is what we are, i mean majorly you are going to use is info and sometimes you will use monitor to basically listen to the u events but that is just for pract uh, practice purpose uh, in actual scenario you would just use info so we are also going to use info so udev info and let's see what all input it's taking so it's taking the query so query the device information name of the device pointing to the node device property or all so what i'm going to do is udev adm info hyphen hyphen query and i'm going to do all and let's see what all other information was there and this is what i'm looking for actually so the node name or simpling simlink name used for query or attribute walk so hyphen hyphen query all and hyphen hyphen name of my simlink would be dev sda sda and let's enter so you can see all this information about this particular device dev sda which is my hard disk is given and we have uh, acquired this information using udev adm tool uh, just look at this first letter at the start of each line the first prefix uh, so these have their specific meanings like p stand for the path of that device in the sysfs uh, n is basically the name of the node sys give you the symlink path in the slash dev and e represent all the extra information about that particular device so this is basically what udev adm provides you 
all right i think this is it for this video guys please do subscribe to the channel before you leave and we'll continue with more of this exciting stuff all this technical stuff and like i said if you know you dev well and good if you don't know just don't bother and yeah that's it thank you for watching